the very best berry pie. One morning, Pooh woke up, rubbed his eyes, sunlight streamed in through the window. Today is a perfect day to go fishing, he said happily. I'll ask Piglet to go with me. Pooh got out of bed, and as he was stretching, he heard a knock at his door. Pooh, are you awake? a small voice said. It was Piglet. Come in, Piglet, Pooh cried, opening the door. I was just thinking of you. Isn't it a wonderful day? Let's go fishing at the pond. I love to poo, Piglet replied, but but I've been thinking about something else. I'd like to go first. Kanga is always doing such nice things for us, taking us on picnics, inviting us over for tea. Wouldn't it be nice to do something special for her? Pooh smiled a big smile and thought about it. His friend Kanga. Hmm. No matter how busy she is, she always finds time to offer me a smackle of honey, he thought. Piglet, that's a grand idea. What should we do? Well, Piglet said, how about making a special surprise pie for Kanga? We could ask all our friends to help collect berries. Splendid, Pooh said. We can keep the berries that we collect in my nightcap. Pooh looked around the room. Oh, bother, he said. Where did it go? Piglet, will you help me find my nightcap? Pooh and Piglet searched Pooh's house behind the chair, under the bed, in the cupboard full of empty honeypots. Finally, Piglet spotted the nightcap behind Pooh's bed and the two friends set out to find their pals. Meanwhile, Tigger and Woo Roo were playing a game of hide and seek in the woods. I'll count it, lovely Bubby, and you hide, Tigger said to Roo. Tigger turned round towards the tree, covered his eyes, and began to count. One, two, three. I've got the best hiding place, Roo thought excitedly. as she ducked into a big log and waited for Tigger to finish counting. Roo could hardly keep from giggling. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ready or not, here I come. Tigger yelled. He looked in a bush, up a tree, behind a rock, but he couldn't find Rue. Hmm, Tigger said, scratching his head. That little guy sure knows how to hide. After a few more minutes of searching for Rue, Tigger began to worry. OK, Tigger shouted. I give up. Where are you? Here I am, Roo squeaked as he crawled out of the log. He bounced over to Tigger. Tigger smiled. Roo, lovely bubbly, you're the best hider there is. Let's play over there here now, Roo said, and hopped further down the path. Just then, Tigger and Roo saw Pooh and Piglet coming their way. Roo scrambled back to where Tigger was. Pooh, Tigger called, and Piglet. Hello, Tigger, and Pooh said. We want to do something special for Kanga because she's always such nice things for us. Would you like to collect berries to make a surprise pie for her? Tigger bounced on his tail. Ho, 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 you betcha. Tigers love to collect berries for Mrs Kanga. He leaned down and whispered to Roo. And they love eating pie even more. Roo giggled. Tigger, Piglet began, would you and Roo go round up the rest of our friends in the Hundred Acre Wood? Pooh and I will start looking for berries right here. That we will, Tigger cried happily. And he and Roo bounced off to find the rest of the game. After Tigger and Roo had gone, Pooh and Piglet looked round and wondered where to start. Let's try over here, Pooh, Piglet suggested, pointing to a small group of bushes. 
Pooh searched the top of the bushes while Piglet looked underneath. Soon they heard some familiar voices. Tigger and Roo returned with Rabbit, Eeyore and Christopher Robin. I remember the last time that Kangol invited us all over for supper, said Christopher Robin. She made such wonderful food. She even has a special plate of thistles just for me, Eeyore said. I say, Rabbit began, what a splendid idea. Kangol is such a dear friend and she deserves a wonderful surprise like this. He wandered over to the grassy area with Christopher Robin and Ticket and started looking for berries. The friends searched for a few minutes but turned up nothing. Maybe we're looking in the wrong place, Christopher Robin said. Why don't we split up and each look somewhere else? So Rabbit scratched and searched in the sandy pit where Roo always played. Tigger stood on the nearby cliff, looked round, then checked in some bushes. Christopher, Robin and Eeyore found another patch of bushes and looked there. Pooh and Piglet looked behind some trees. There must be berries around here somewhere, Piglet explained. Leave it to me, Piglet, Tigger cried. Tiggers are terrific at finding berries. But even Tigger wasn't having any luck, although he did find lots of rocks, dirt and insects. Pooh thought and thought. Then he said, since I'm a bear of very little brain, let's ask Owl where to find the best berries. What a great idea, Pooh, said Piglet. Let's go and ask Owl right now. So Pooh and Piglet set out to find Owl. When they reached Owl's perch, Pooh said, Owl, we want to show Kanga how much we appreciate all the nice things that she's done for us. So we'd like to have a party for her and surprise her with a special berry pie. Do you know where to find the very best berries in Hundred Acre Wood? Uh, yes, Owl explained. I know the very place. In fact, I was there just the other day gathering berries for myself. Come with me, my friends. Owl flew ahead of Pooh and Piglet, who followed the path until they came to a place in the wood that was full of berry bushes. I'll help you gather the berries for a while, Owl said. Then I must return to my housework, but I most certainly will join you at Kangas later for the big celebration. He picked a few berries and dropped them into Pooh's nightcap. Pooh looked, looked at all those berries, Piglet cried. Oh, Owl, this is wonderful. Yes, cried Pooh. With these berries, we certainly will have the very best berry pie. As Pooh, Piglet and Owl were busy filling Pooh's nightcap with berries, Rabbit, Eeyore, Tigger, Roo and Christopher Robin came walking down the path. When they saw all the berry bushes, they couldn't believe their eyes. Oh my, Rabbit explained, look at all those berries. I think there are enough berries here for at least a hundred pies, Pooh ex ex said excitedly to Rabbit. Christopher Robin shook his head and laughed. Silly old bear, he said. We only need enough pie, enough for one very special pie. Everyone helped gather berries and put them in Pooh's nightcap, which was getting fuller by the minute. Tigger decided to, to break from the berry picking. He put a few more berries in Pooh's nightcap, looked for a good spot to rest, and that's when he noticed that Roo was missing. Hey everyone, where's our little buddy Roo? he asked. Everyone had been so busy picking berries that no one noticed Roo had, was gone. He can't be far, Rabbit said. We'll find him, said Christopher Robin. The friends started down the path to look for Roo. Roo, Tigger called, where are you? They passed a large log on the ground. Christopher Robin thought he heard a noise coming from the log. He knelt down and peered inside. There was Roo. Here he is, Christopher Robin called. He's safe and sound asleep. Roo opened his eyes, stretched, Tigger peeped his head into the log. Hey buddy, what you doing? Did you think we were playing hide and seek again? Roo blinked, looked at his friends. Picking all those berries made me tired, he said. I'm with you old buddy, said Tigger. I was getting ready for a nap myself. 
Well, I'm sure glad that's over, Rabbit said with a laugh through smile. Now that we know Rue is okay, said Christopher Robin, I'll take the berries home and I'll make the pie. When it's ready, we can all go over the Kangas together and surprise her. Everyone said goodbye to Christopher Robin, who picked up the berries and headed home down the path. The rest of the friends talked about what they would do until it was time for the party. I think I'll tend to my garden, Rabbit said. Rue bounced up next to Tigger. Let's play another game of hide and seek, he said. Pooh smiled at Piglet. We can go fishing at the pond now. And swimming, Piglet added. Splendid, Pooh said. See you all later. The friends waved goodbye to one another and set off down the path. Pooh went home and got his fishing pole tackle box and his lucky fishing hat. When he was ready he and Piglet went to the pond. They found a shady spot by the water and sat down. I'll keep you company while you fish, Piglet told Pooh. I'll watch while you swim, Pooh told Piglet. The two friends spent the rest of the afternoon taking turns fishing and swimming. Then they went back to Pooh's house to wait for the party. Do, do you think that Kanga will be surprised? Piglet asked. Oh yes, Piglet, Pooh replied. This is going to be a wonderful party. Just then they heard a knock at the door. Everyone's there, including Christopher Robin, who was carrying the most scrumptious looking pie. So they all set off for Kanga and Rue's house. When they arrived, Pooh knocked on the door. Kanga opened it and everyone shouted, Surprise! Oh my, said Kanga. How wonderful to see you all. Have I forgotten someone's special day? No, Piglet said. We just wanted to show you how much we appreciated everything you do for us. Kanga smiled at her dear friends. What a nice surprise, she said. Please come in and let's have some of that delicious looking pie. Everyone gathered round the table and Kanga sat out plates in between bites of pie. Tigger said, this really is a very best berry pie. Kanga smiled. It certainly is, Tigger dear, she said, and best of all is sharing it with such wonderful friends. <laughs>